Everyone is, I'm well, not, I'm not. Your body is your divine temple. It's up to you how you decorate no, no, your temple. No, no, it's not about it. But it's, it's just a point. It's about opinion. It's uh, the uh, opinion of, of but, but that is a, It's up to me if I decorate But that's exactly what I'm saying. I said, I said, what might be seen? It's opinion. He's making an opinion of something. No, I'm not. No, no, he's just giving an example. to I'm saying, if you want to lead your life, what it might be, like for example, getting tattoos is good for you, right? According to you, look at do you think it's good for you? Yes. Yeah, okay, right. so it's maybe it's good. Up, there are, what about this gentleman? Do you think okay. getting tattoos is good for you? No, no, no. There you go. So everyone's why, got different opinions. Because he doesn't want to abuse his body. Yeah. You see? It is worse. Abuse, but it's my body though. Exactly. Why would you want to abuse it? Yeah, like, I own my body. Okay. Yeah, now somebody might create it. I don't know. Okay. Who created you? God. My mom and dad. <laughs> mom and dad. Yeah. And, dad. and who created them? They are my line managers. Who created and, who, them? and who created them? Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah. My grandparents. <laughs> Mother That's Nature. All I know. And who created Mother Nature? The universe. Who created the universe? The universe. Who created it? The universe. You tell me. Are you? It goes back billions of years. You tell me. Doesn't matter how many billions of the years. Look. It doesn't matter. All right. Hold on. We, on. we won't. We've discarded no, the question. billions of years and we just go to four. No, no. When I say it doesn't matter, it means it doesn't matter how many years, the point still remains who created the universe because you see the universe is not something a conscious being like you and me in the sense that for example if i if i had an atom and i said okay i'm going to split the atom will it move away from harm because it knows if somebody's going to harm it will it move away no it doesn't have the consciousness the way you and i do how do you know well prove it to me then but you prove it to me it doesn't I, t I just give you the example oh, no, you of an atom. You said a statement. Prove it to me. Okay. And at, for example. Prove it to me. Show me. Prove me. Okay. Your glasses. Yeah. Your glasses. Yeah. If I put it down there yeah. and I'm going to stop on it, will it move away? If you could get them off my head, I'll be very... No, no, no. Very very good. Good. He's missing the point, isn't it? I'm not you missing know. the point. You are. You're, 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 you're taking a materialistic my glasses, which I can't see without, thank you. But you're saying if I stamp on them, well, of course, if I stamp on your toe, it's going to hurt, no, but, but it's going to get better. Oh, my glasses no. won't Here, here's, get better. here's where he missed the point. Oh, the your, point your glasses, your glasses and my toe are different. One is, like you said, an immature, uh, it, it basically doesn't have consciousness. <laughs> and that's the reason it'll not move away. But However, wait, 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 wait a minute, my friend, my friend, wait a minute, wait a minute. However, if you were, look, look at, look at me, look at me. If you were going to step on my toe, my consciousness tells me you're going to hurt me. I can move my toe away, right? Your, your glasses, on the other hand, your glasses, on the other hand, cannot do that when I'm going to step on it. Yeah, but surely I would just move them out of the way. I think you're just missing the point. Anyway, get, let me get, let me back to you. Point. The point is this. We don't like you, sa you said your parents created you. Yeah, we can go on like that. And at the end, we'll ask who created the universe. The universe did not create itself. Yes. Neither, neither did the universe. Well, is it possible? Yeah, yeah. How? Okay. Science. Science doesn't say it's created itself. Huh? Science doesn't say the we universe created it. itself. No, even science, even the Big Bang, did not happen it's by itself. Scientific. Okay. Where did the Big Bang? Where did it, where did it originate from? Did they observe the Stardust. Big Bang. Stardust, can and where I did that come from? <laughs> we can I always go back. We can, we can always go back. You see, there comes a point when you will say that this. Uh, after I finish my point, if you don't mind. Yes, with all due respect. So what I'm saying is that if you come to an understanding that all this thing which is called something that we see that is tangible that is real yes which you can have an epistemic uh, understanding of you will come to the conclusion that all this did not create itself because that is something which is not which is not coherent which is not something that you will say is logical should, the conclusion should have to be religion then, no, I, didn't, be like, oh, I, I didn't bring religion yet in i did not bring it in i did not bring it. yes yes i'm coming of course i'm a religious person it's obvious isn't it so what i'm saying is that it, it did not come from nothing because scientifically speaking, something cannot originate from nothing. If anyone disagrees, please let me know. If something cannot from nothing, and that is something that is something which is obvious, which clearly shows us that anything coming into existence from nothing, either you're talking nonsense or you do not understand the question. Secondly, can this universe, like the gentleman's glasses, doesn't have consciousness, yes? Can it create itself? For that you'll need energy, Yes? I disagree. For, for that you'll need energy for, for being there forever. Mm. Now, good energy now, brings good energy. Now, wait a minute. The, the law of, with the bad energy? What is the first law of the thermodynamics? Love is the law of everything. Love? But that's it. Love? What do you believe in? That's love. what I believe in. First, law, first law of thermodynamics basically states that energy can neither be created or destroyed in a closed environment. 
pay close attention. The close environment is very, very, very important. This closed system, which the universe is today, yes, in that it can. But the question arises, where did the universe, where did this closed system come from? You see, you go back to that. You cannot say the universe created itself because it will be something that is, again, incomprehensible, just like, just like, uh, some, uh, just like nothing can create something. God. You're talking crap. It comes from the universe. Yeah, but where did the where universe come from? Proof? That's the question. But where's your proof? My proof is nothing can Reading create book something. That's a few hundred years old. It doesn't matter. Where's your proof? It doesn't matter. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, go on. How many years were the pyramids made? How many years ago? Yeah. 4,000 or something? More. 5,000? Long, long time ago. Yeah. Okay. On the side of the pyramids, on the wall, yeah. there's a, a theory on turbocharging. We haven't reached, believe, you can Google it. We haven't reached that skill yet yeah. to work out how far advanced that turbocharger is for the speed of light to travel. Right. For the speed of light to travel? That's how it works. Google it. I'm not telling you like, yeah. oh, it doesn't say that in my book. Google it, man. You got and you believe everything you Google? No, but I'm asking you a question. If so what is the source? The question is... What is the source that you just mentioned? I'm asking you a question. Wait till I finish my question. Okay, Don't go on. Ah. with big words. No, because you already said... You're you already made a statement. You believe that everything started at so many years ago and the universe was didn't create it by mother nature. Well, I'm saying to you, it was created by mother nature. And we as the humans, the scourge of the universe, have destroyed it many times. Only some of with, us, mate. With our <laughs> hatred of each other. Instead of loving each other, with our hatred of each other. I don't like you, so I hate you. I don't like my neighbor, I don't like you, I don't care. You're the wrong color, you're the wrong size, you're the wrong whatever. That's what we're doing, we are destroying ourselves if you go and look if you go and look <laughs> can't see you mate that's fine, that's fine you talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> you know this wait, speaker's corner on, don't on, get sidetracked right. right. that's fine yeah. carry on yeah. windows yeah. to the soul you hide behind all that we were, shit we, we were just having a teaching session yeah. yeah so obviously we don't want you to start coming and start you know no 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 he's, he's yeah, free to ask a question that's fine but basically you know I said but I want to there's a pyramid on the pyramid there's a program written that we have can't it's too advanced for us now but it's billions of years old and we're going on about the few minutes that we're here and causing trouble this crap mate we are the scourge uh, of the universe hold on hold on, hold on. we are they hate us i, I wouldn't i wouldn't say all i wouldn't say all humans are the scourge, scourge of this though. planet there are many humans who would want to like save the planet and i don't think they're the scourge as human oh, beings is our is our duty like i agree with you in, in many senses as you. human beings it's our duty to take care of this planet but we're not. similarly to take care of our bodies mm -hmm. yes there are many people who smoke who take drugs, who, who uh, basically consume food alcohol. that is bad for you. Meat. Yes, alcohol. And all these things are also bad meat. for you. Yes. What meat. I'm saying, meat. you know this. Oh, no, no, meat. Yeah, let's, let's, not, go to, let's not go into that. Yeah, meat. <laughs> Obviously, if you, if Why you was you killed to live? Why was you killed to live? Okay, so, so. You are immediately putting death in you your see body. these animals that were placed there for us to consume. You think that? There I is agree, a reason we're on top of the future. Vegetarian and non vegetarian discussion. Okay. Can we keep that for another time? Yeah, yeah, I like my burgers anyway. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is this look, like I said, you know, everyone will not agree with you, and neither will you agree with everyone else. So we will always have the situation. As well as as long as long as long as human beings look as long as long as human beings were there and will there will be there there will always be disagreements yes one thing we can be certain of now what I'm saying is this how will how will we as human beings come to something come to a common understanding of what is good for us who is going to decide this like for example we got a vegetarian vegan vegetarian. I didn't say that. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. I, I, I didn't say that. I'm okay. You gave the assumptions. Uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, there are vegans, vegetarians, there are non-vegetarians, there are some carnivores only. Yeah. <laughs> and this, what I'm saying is that it's we are, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, we have all these different subjective mm. ideologies. Mm. How will we as human beings come to a conclusion and a common understanding where, like you said, there is no hatred, yes, and there is an agreement? How are we going to do that? throw away all that we believe and reprogram our badly spent what we've been programmed what we've been taught from day one yeah i'm not a kid what we've been taught from day one what we're teaching our children is absolute bollocks okay we're teaching them to dislike don't like them because they do this and don't like who cares as long as you can live nicely help a lady across the road help someone who's fallen over with a kid who cares what color religion or anything else oh, no. just live together nicely. i asked you 
just I didn't, live together nice. No, no, that's we are not just living together nice. But that's what I'm telling you. It's are, not that well, simple. How are we stop it's it? not that simple. That's the question Change I'm asking you. The whole religious structure, the whole dynamics of the universe. Okay, let's say for example, okay. let's say people stop believing in religion. You will what is the alternative? Love, illusion, love. Love. Okay, let me ask you this: Can a mother and a son love each other in the way you love your wife? You mean physically or mentally? Both. Mentally, yes. Both. Physically, it would cause malfunction in the in the in the in the infant. You no, but they say it's love. Arms. My friend, they say it's I'm, love. I'm talking yeah, about medical. No, but that's what I'm saying. You see, look, right, I'm talking about medical, you and and you're talking about son. physical. Physically, you could, could not love your your mother could not love her son more than anything in your intelligence. Right. But if your mother was yeah, having sex with your mother, it's unnatural right. because I don't right. know why right. human animals do no, do it. Animals do do no, it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Let him let him speak. Let him speak. A dream mention about. Let me speak. So you're saying you're saying incest is wrong. Okay. You're saying wait. What if that mother and that son? Say that it is love and you're wrong. You're the one who's a hater now. In their eyes, you're the hater. Because you stop them making love and having love in that. Because you see, look, look, it's not pathetic. There are many people actually who commit incest. And they say that, of course, I agree with you. You see, the, in this case, I'm with you. But those people say, what is wrong? We are both grown-ups. We, we are both adults. And we consent you to this kind of... my simple question, though. No, but wait, wait. the side of the pyramid... No, we, we, we... There's, we, we, a, there's a formula... You, you're going back to the pyramid. But I'm, I want your opinion. I mean, I'll come if to that. the universe is only so far and we've never been here before... You know what? How is this program on the side of the pyramid and all the professors in the big... Oxford, whatever they are, I'm not very well literal. Yeah. I only know what I know. Okay. How come they say, yeah, we haven't got to that yet? We can't move that fast because we haven't invented these things that are on there and they're too far advanced to us. Well, if they're that far advanced and we haven't been on this planet and destroyed it once before, where did they come from? Magic? Okay, first, let me finish the point I was making because with regards, to, with regards to the incest, there are many people out there who do commit incest and who say it's perfectly normal for them. Yes, you might consider it disgusting, I might consider it disgusting, but the point remains, for them that is love. You see what I mean? This gentleman, he's saying that is not love, that is something appalling. That is appalling. And you see, like I said, everyone will have their opinion. So the answer is not love. The answer, what, what, you're, saying, what you're saying is love, is not love. No, it's not listening. All right. <laughs> so, so, no, I'm not listening. He's talking about incest. Yeah, but you're I don't want to talking to him. Yeah, but you're... Yeah. Corner, freedom. Oh, <laughs> okay, so, so let's get back to the discussion we were having earlier. You see, in this, in this life that we have, this, this limited life we have, maybe 30, 40, 50, 80 years, 90 years, 100 in some cases, yes, we will do many things that might be appreciated by some, which might be actually not, not really be appreciated by other people. But then... We have to somehow decide that who is going to make this, this, this particular decision as to who is right and who is wrong. Everyone will have the subjective ways, you see. We will never come to a conclusion and there will always be a clash between us. The hatred that you were talking about comes, comes from the under, understanding that what I consider as really appalling and disgusting has to be the same for everyone else. Which is completely wrong from that incest committing mother and uh, son. Yes, mm -hmm. from their point of view, you're the one who's causing hate in their life. Yeah. So there we go. We have to come to a conclusion as to what or who is going to decide this. And this is where I bring in God. Because unless where and until the God creator... From? Who is God? Let us finish. I'm making the point. Yes, this is where I would bring in God. Because God is the one who created all of us. No. Including the universe. No. Including the mother nature you talk about is only the creation of God. Mm. You no. see these trees here? Yes. Why do they shed the leaves in winter? Why not in summer? summer? Yes. Why not in summer? Who food. caused? Who caused this law? Who, who basically? Uh, who instilled this law in them? That you have to only give fruit in a certain the period. Universe. Only the, the universe is what did not create itself. It was created. The laws, it's the physics, the laws of physics, the laws of biology, no, the laws of botany. All these laws. All these laws. Makes no sense to me at all. Absolutely wrong. Well, paganism makes no sense to me. So you're absolutely wrong as well. We can go about this all day, but we have to come. Like I said, we have to come to some understanding, a common understanding, where we say yes, we decide that this. This entity is going to make the decision for us in terms of what is right and what is wrong. Otherwise, we, we will always friends? be at loggerheads. Do you, you think we friends? should all be friends? We should be, yes, why not? Okay. 
we can talk to each other like the way we are doing yes and we should have this freedom of speech as long as we do not insult and hurt other people absolutely yes there's nothing wrong in that about the people who do insult other people then they should be told not to okay and if they continue then i would say move away because if they're insulting you don't like it move away the world is big enough for you to move away yes because at the end of the day if we all and we will like i said as human beings we do disagree with each other many times and if you're going to fight over that all the time it won't really it won't achieve anything let's put it that way sorry baba what do you think is going to happen after you die to you personally i i i believe that my spirit will go back into the universe and it will carry on i don't believe this is a, i don't I, i don't believe this is a one stop The Good. Thing is you this is a, a one of seven stops, and if you're lucky on the seventh time, you come back as a human. But that's another ideology. Altogether. Oh, you believe in reincarnation? Uh, I, I'm not sure what I believe in. I, no, now, you said you will I, come. I, that's yeah. why I, I'm not sure anymore what I believe in because of what is actually going on now. I, I don't understand. As a human, as a, comp a caring, compassionate person that wouldn't care what colour you was, if I saw someone bothering, if, you, if I saw two or three blokes having a go at you, no. I'd come. I'd come and help and say, "Well, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't. I, I'm not suffering now. I yeah. don't think it's From right to hurt each other." You have a spirit. Huh? From where you know you have a spirit. From me. From what yeah, am I believe? You know, where you no, know yeah. you from, from, from give me give me chance to answer. From my belief. Yeah, believe. I believe in me. Anyone, anyone. I believe in me. I don't believe that you have to pray to a false idol. How do you know? You have to yeah, say Allah, Allah, Christ, yeah. Moses, you all of that. Me, at all. Yeah, It's people it. following people. Uh, wait a minute. I'll ask you. What proof? But when you say something it was out of proof, but I, I I can only believe in what I believe in. So oh, I don't it, need no, to see right, something. Written. No, no, he's, he's got a good point. Do you I understand the point he's making? So you know, you said earlier believing in God and all this book is nonsense. No, no, that's fine. You said all that is nonsense. Yes, but, but and that's your opinion. Just, God just like God is just another man. You are God. When you get to a higher no, level, no, you, are, you, you misunderstand who God. God is. Do you not believe that you come to a higher level and you see things no, no, differently? No, you become a God. No, no, hold on, no, no. When you say, when you say, I have proof from my heart. If that's not good enough, yeah, but where's your claim. proof? No. Written in a book. Do you did you, you write that book? No. Why do you believe someone else's book? I believe what I believe in me. I yeah, believe in me. He have. No, but when you say, you know what book he's got? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, when you say you believe in you, what is your source for that? Me. I believe in myself. Okay. How long have you existed? I don't know. As okay. Well, uh, uh, in this life now. 50, in any life. Fifty-nine years. In 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 any, in, life, in any life. Since the beginning of time, because we we come back. Okay. So in the fifty-nine years, have you made mistakes? Oh, every day. Okay. Could that what you believe in be a mistake? I don't believe so. Why not? Because wait, I, wait, wait, why not? Because I believe in myself. No, no, but that that is that's not really a proof, is it? Believe in what? Believing in yourself is believing in God. No, not really. Not, but if you don't believe in God. Because, no, no, believing in yourself yes. is believing in God. But so, I believe that we no, are no, all God. We are in a God. Because because we are we are a God. We, yeah, that's it. We, we are, are the we God. Are God. So you, we have chosen to put yourself, someone in front believe to believe God. what they say because yeah. it's easier okay. than believing okay. in okay. ourselves. Well, we it's even than que it's easier than que it's easier than questioning our own reality. When you yeah, when you say when you when Brother, we brought the brother for you. Leave him, leave him. We don't want three discussions now. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, already yeah, having two years. He's getting too much. Richard, a lot of the problems we have in the world today will disappear. That's why I'm Because saying, believe in yourself. Want, we want everyone to live the way we live. Not really. Not really. I wouldn't want everyone to live the way they live because there are yeah, many people happens. who would want to harm you in order for them, their existence to be really fruitful and to be fine. But they're not. The, they're, they're just the scourge of the universe. Anybody that wants to hurt anybody. Yes. It's disgusting. So what would you do? What would you and, and as, as you sorry what's your name by the way? What's what's your name? People, you, you Man. People want to kill Man? So okay, good. I wasn't going to call you a woman anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a friend of mine he's dead now. His name was Man Woman. Man Woman? Yeah, you know. He couldn't decide. You know of him? I know I don't. Who is he? Okay, Google one day you might think. That's fine. That's another story. Google. Yeah, I got many things uh, on my mind right okay, now. But let me let me ask you this. Okay, let me ask you this. If a person, for example, like Hitler, who wants to harm people, what would you do in your same world view? With Neng Genghis Khan, same as we did with Napoleon. Okay. Get rid of them. They're fucking scum. So you would, so you would use violence? No. Get rid of. How will you get rid of them? Well, ask them nicely. 
They went, well, Hitler ran away and went and lived in Austria till he was in his 90s. Uh, after how many after million Argentina, he killed? Argentina. Argentina. Yeah, after yeah. how many million did he kill? Yeah, that yeah. was where he lived, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's no, that's no, let's... Let's find. Without harming them, how will you get rid of them? I could not give you the answer to that without giving it good thought. I wouldn't want to say something that would be wrong to myself. What I'm saying is, if you believe in something that hurts or hate, surely it can't be... No, no, no. Look, look, you might be a good gentleman who is loving and caring, but the question, the question arises, how will you get rid of someone who's not as loving and caring as you? Leave him to you. No, you can't. You I'd can't. Him to you. You, you can't. seem to have all the answers. No, no, it's not about having the answers. It's about what is a practical solution in that scenario. You see, this is what I'm saying. Everything is not love and harmony and peace. Yes. Uh, can we can we have one discussion because this is getting all over the place? Okay. What is it I was discussing with you? I've lost track already. Okay. Come a bit forward so I can so I can talk to you. Okay. So so in t like I said. In terms of in terms of we as human beings, mm. yes, you see, we cannot decide everything for ourselves, yes, and that's why you'll have to pass a parcel to somebody else. Like the way I asked this gentleman, how will you deal with somebody like Hitler? Okay, so you don't know, so you pass it to somebody else. It's your duty, not mine, to do. And this will happen. So we have to have some sort of order in the laws and decisions that have been made in our life, whether it's today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever it is. And I put that decision in the hands of the creator who created us all, including the universe, including you, me, the man, the woman, whatever it is. Now, once you have done that, then you realize that this order, this creator who has basically known you and me better than anyone else, is able to give us a guidance to lead our life, whether it is from oppressors or whether it is from people who do good, how to deal with them correctly. And that's when we have come to a conclusion as to how you would go about your affairs, whether it is your personal affairs, whether it is your political life, your financial life, your social life, whatever it is. And this is something that we in Islam call the Sharia. And Sharia, many people have got the misunderstanding that all it does is basically cut off people's head and hands. No, that is a fraction of the Sharia. So if you have like 90, wait, wait, if you have, if you have like 100%, if you have a pie, Yes, which which is hundred percent. Maybe the sh maybe this hard punishment is just a fraction of that. Yes, the large part of it is to deal with your daily life. How you how you deal with your neighbor, regardless of his faith or lack of faith thereof, or with people, with your children, with your parents. How you deal with them? Yes, not every not everything is about how you deal with criminal laws. Yes, what difference does that make? That makes if a, I believe in God or not. Does that make me a yes, bad person? Yes, it does make you a better person. If you does abide... Does it make me a bad person yes. if I don't? A bad person? Yeah. If you don't, yes. I'll tell you how. If I believe in the universe, how does that no, no. make me a bad When I say bad person, person, what I mean by that is you will take decisions which are bad and contrary to what is good for you and the community for at large. You yes, you will. Because I'll, t I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. I'll, 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 I'll tell you why. I'll, no, no, no. I'll tell you why. Let's say, for example. Yes. No, no. I'm, I, I did not assume that. I asked him that question earlier. Remember? What would you do if someone like Hitler is going about on a rampage? What would you do? Okay, I'm asking you the same question now. You'd have to have him killed. You love him killed? Yeah. Yes. Now wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, that is not love. That is, when you use the word kill, yes, yes he might not like it because for him, everything has to be love and peace. But the reality of the world is not such. And you have recognized that. The reality, the reality of this world is not all love and peace. Sometimes you have to take steps. Yeah, sometimes you have to take steps which are not wrong. Yeah, take care. I dare you, if you're a man or a woman, to do what I'm about to suggest. Islamnet is a Muslim organization establishing a masjid in the capital of Norway. The property, alhamdulillah, has now been purchased. And now we need to reconstruct it into a fully functioning masjid and community center. To be part of building a masjid is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stated, whoever builds a mosque for Allah Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran, believe in Allah and his messenger and donate from what he has entrusted you with. So those who have believed and donate will have a mighty reward. 
But what is this mighty reward that your donation, inshallah, will bring you? Well, much more than you initially gave. Your good deed will be multiplied by 700, up to 700 times when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who will forgive your sins, inshallah. And all the ajr that is happening in the masjid, all the prayers that are happening, the ruku'ah and the sujood and the dua and the charity and the ta'aleem and the learning, all of those things, you insha'Allah will get, you get a copy of those good deeds insha'Allah ta'ala and the pleasure of your Lord and an eternal home in Jannah Allahu Akbar. And that is indeed a mighty reward. Don't miss out on this rare opportunity. Click the link and donate and earn the rewards promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't forget to share the video. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.